and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. Today we'll be discussing the estimate versus actual report within Construction Suite, which can use your QuickBooks financial information such as bills, checks, paychecks, and credit card transactions to measure your current financial performance on your job. The estimate versus actual report can either be used to show your variance on only the items that you've begun working on and billing for, or it can give you the variance between your total estimate cost and total cost to date. So let's go ahead and see how this works. In order to generate an estimate versus actual report, you must first have values for your actuals in the estimate. Again, these actuals correspond to bills, checks, paychecks, and credit card transactions within QuickBooks. If we go over to QuickBooks, you can see here that I actually have a couple bills already here and ready to go from multiple different vendors. And now I am ready to import. We can do this by going back to our estimate, to our QuickBooks integration tab, and selecting to import from QuickBooks. We can now select to import our QuickBooks actuals, and you have some options as far as which actuals you would like to import, but for our purposes, we want to see our total actual cost to date, so we're just going to include everything, and go ahead and select OK to import. Now if you're having trouble importing your actuals, be sure to check out our sweet talk on importing QuickBooks transactions to see where you may be going wrong. As you can see, I now have values in my QuickBooks actual column that I've imported from QuickBooks, and I'm now ready to generate my report. This report's located in our Reports tab in the Financial Reports sections, and we'll go ahead and select the Estimate versus Actual Report. Now, when you choose to generate this report, you'll have a few options. The first one's going to be whether or not you would like to include sections marked as option. So if you have any option subcategories within your estimate, you can choose to include those in the report. The next two are going to determine what type of information is actually going to show. And it's really going to be important as far as if you're getting information on the job as a whole or just the job to date. Uh, so the first option here is going to be including selections with no value. And this is going to mean if you have items in your estimate that have a zero dollar total cost, um, then you can include those in the report. Uh, reasons you might want to do that is if you didn't estimate for an item, but maybe you had an unexpected cost occurred, um, then that way you can show the estimated value is zero. You do have an actual cost for it though, so you are negative on that item and have a negative variance that will attribute to your total performance on the job as a whole. Next, you're going to have the option to include items with zero actuals. And this is going to determine again whether you get the performance on the job to date or the overall performance on the job as a whole. So not checking this box is only going to include items on this report that you have currently begun billing for. Uh, now whether you're in progress billing for that or you've billed for the whole thing um, is you know, to be determined. But this will include items that do not have an actual so you can see the true variance between your estimated value and even those items that you haven't begun working or billing for to give you that true total for the job. The rest of these options are really going to be aesthetic so you can choose to show table borders, um, include footers and change your colors here, and choose which columns to be displayed. Uh, but this is really personal preference so I'm going to leave those just as is to show you what this report's going to look like. So as you can see, if I generate this report without showing items um, that have no actuals, then we only get the portions of the estimate that do have actual costs incurred. You can see here that we have nothing here with zero dollar actuals, so we're getting the cost of the job to date, and we can then measure our performance of the work that we've currently completed. As we scroll down, you'll see this is much shorter than our estimate, and we get our summary statistics here at the bottom, so the total estimated cost of the work we've done so far is 83,000 and change. Our actual cost to date is 78,550. So we can see that we then have a variance of about $4,700, which is really going to be the profit or a margin that we've made up to this point. So if we'd like to see where we stand on the overall cost instead of the work that we've currently done to date, we can just go back and generate another estimate versus actual report. But this time, when we choose our options, we're going to choose to include the items with zero actuals. Again, I'm going to leave everything else just as it was and generate this report. And now when this comes up, you will see that we will now have not only some items with zero actuals, but we now have much larger variances because we have estimated a lot of money for a lot of these things, but we haven't actually paid anything out. So as we go down, you'll see that this now includes many, many more items because it's including those items that we haven't actually done work on yet. And when we get to the bottom, 
You'll now see our total cost is right up there with our total base price for the job. Our actuals are still the same because we haven't imported any more bills or transactions. And our variance is much, much larger and we can see where we stand on the job as a whole. So as of right now, we're about $300,000 under budget um, and that's very good for us. So the key point to take away from this is that staying on top of your financials and how you're performing with regards to your estimate is a valuable tool of any project manager or business owner. Uh, if you're not performing well on a job, it might not be apparent until you see it on paper. So you can then catch it early by generating these reports and make the proper adjustments before you find yourself barely breaking even at the end of a job. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.